guys, so I'm really excited about this video. It's my first ever collaboration and it is on this look here. I created a really nice neutral kind of bronzy holiday look. I did this collaboration with Amy from Dominoes and Hearts. I'll leave her channel down below. This was her look. She did a more dramatic kind of purple smoky eye with a nude lip so that you have a dramatic and a basic option for kind of the holiday season. So I'm starting off with this Essence uh, primer. It's an illuminating primer and I'm using this because I do want a really dewy finish to my skin. So I'm just rubbing that in with my fingers, nothing special, and this is going to give us a kind of metallic look under our foundation. So I'm using this Garnier BB Cream for oily skin for my foundation and I'm using this because it gives me a really nice coverage and evens out my skin tone but it doesn't create too much like product on my face. Because it is summer here in Australia I didn't want to do kind of a full coverage with lots of product on the face. So I am kind of spot applying this now that I've applied one layer with my brush um, just to the areas where I need a little bit more coverage which for me is mainly my cheek. And this one is in the colour light that I use, but they have a medium version too. Then I'm going in with my Maybelline Mineral Power Concealer. I have been loving this concealer lately. I'm applying it under my eyes in kind of like a triangular shape. Um, I start off in the inner corner because that's where I get the most darkness and then I kind of blend it outwards with the sponge that's on there. This does look like a lot of concealer but it's not very much so I do apply it with the little sponge first under my eyes, on my forehead, down my nose and on my chin and then I kind of blend it out and I really love this concealer because it kind of blends out to kind of almost like nothing because then it doesn't look cakey or thick or anything like that. So I'm just applying it to those areas that I mentioned and then I'm going to blend it in with the same brush that I blended my foundation in now that I look like a crazy person. So I'm just blending it all in and as you can see it highlights the face a little bit but it doesn't leave too much um, like product on the face and it definitely doesn't make it look cakey which is something I love. And I love doing this for summer like putting a light coverage foundation or BB cream on and then using a concealer to spot correct. I'm taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm just applying this with a Kabuki brush. I'm applying kind of a really fine layer just to set that concealer and the BB cream that we put on the face. I do like to use powder, especially in the hotter months. Then I'm taking my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I'm applying this to my eyelids. I love this because it's a really skin coloured kind of base and I like it because it's more yellow toned so it neutralises all of the redness and stuff on my eyelids. And then going in with my Australis Contour Kit and I'm using this kind of yellow shade in the middle and I'm just patting this under my eyes to brighten that concealer a little bit more and also to place a barrier in case there's any fallout with the eyeshadow. I'm kind of jumping all over the place but this is just the order I did it in. Now going back to the eyes, I'm using this colour out of the Rimmel Glam Eyes Quad in Smoky Brun and I'm placing this all over the lid and then up to the kind of brow as well. I focus it on the lid to start with and then with the remaining product I kind of um, blend up to the brow. Then taking the medium brown in this quad and placing it in my crease as a transition colour. I'm doing a really light dusting first and then I go in and I kind of more precisely add it in and I darken up the look. I like to add layers because then it doesn't get too dark too quickly. Then going in with the darkest colour, just on the side of that blending brush, I'm going to wiggle this into the outer corner just to kind of smoke up the outer corner. It is a natural look, but we do want a little bit of definition. Then I'm going in with my MAC 224 and I'm just blending everything out so it is nice and perfectly seamless. Then going in with the lightest pearly colour in the quad, I'm going to put this under my brow bone and this is going to act as our brow bone highlight. Then using my bourgeois bronzer, I'm going to bronze the outsides of my face, so just under my cheekbones, my temples, and I also did my jawline. This is going to give us kind of a bronzed look, which is what we're going for in this look. I'm also contouring the sides of my nose, and I'm using a more precise brush. Then going back in with my Astralis Contour Kit and the... Real Techniques contour brush. I'm putting this under my cheekbones. I do blend it into my temples a little bit as well. And then I'm using my CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara and I'm coating my lashes with this. I am doing a nice generous coat because I didn't apply falsies. I just felt 
that it was a little too dramatic. So, I'm then using this Astralis Paparazzi Perfect Blush in Poser, and I'm just going and blending this on the apples of my cheeks and blending it backwards. I then decided that this blush was a little bit too bronze, so I wanted to put a peach tone blush over the top. This is once again an Astralis Paparazzi Perfect Blush um, in um, Screen Siren, I think. Anyway, this is my model's preferred brow kit in light to medium. I'm putting this on my eyebrows and blending it in. It does look a little bit off when I first put it on, but I like it because it has those warmer tones to match my hair. So once I put it on, I do blend it in and then it looks nice and natural, but it does look a bit orangey yellow when I first apply it. If you guys would like a kind of in-depth brow routine, let me know down below. Then I'm using this BOE highlighter this is just a golden one and I'm applying this to the chops of my cheekbones and that is going to give us that amazing summer glow that we want for every festive occasion then I'm using my Astralis color inject mineral lipstick in the color mambo this is just a really really nice kind of nude it is kind of like a brownie nude but I really like it and it's just my perfect nude lipstick then I'm going to apply this Benefit Her Glossiness Gloss. I'm not sure if you can get this anymore, but it's just an iridescent gloss. And I'm applying it to the middle and kind of blending it out to create a nice shine in the middle of my lips. This is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Do check out Amy's channel in the down bar below. Subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.